Hi, and welcome back to my channel. AI-enabled sales tools are one of the best return on investments that you can get out of an AI strategy today. In my previous video, I went through the top five AI sales tools that I see in the marketplace today based upon my over 30 years in sales and marketing. I'm going to link to that video uh, at this point. But I promised a video explaining the top selection out of those five, and this is it. The top AI-enabled sales tool, in my opinion, is a solution called Sales Closer AI. Sales Closer AI is actually a virtual sales rep, and we're going to go through some of the details here in this video. Hi, my name is Steve Murphy. I'm a Vice President and AI Consultant at ARG. While I work for ARG, this video is my own and does not reflect the views or opinions of my employer. This channel is dedicated to helping individuals and small businesses leverage AI solutions so they can compete in both their uh, career-related goals and compete with larger organizations that have more resources. AI is a great field leveler. So Sales Closer AI, as I said, is a virtual sales agent. You can use this large language model, natural language program, to conduct sales, not only to gather information, but to actually close business, to do virtual web conferences and so forth. Anything that involves selling or interacting with a customer at a distance verbally is a good use case for Sales Closer AI. We're going to take a look at a demo in just a moment, and then we're going to, after the demo, we're going to talk about pricing. And pricing, actually, I think is the biggest strength of Sales Closer AI, which is why uh, there are other applications that do similar things, but the pricing model for Sales Closer AI, I think, is really unique. So that's why I put it at the top of my list. First of all, I want to make it clear, I have no financial interest in Sales Closer AI or any other solutions that I mentioned in my top five video. Uh, this is just based upon my opinion. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just trying to communicate what I think is uh, or are the best products out in the marketplace at this point in time. Uh, so let's get to the demo. Now, this demo is available on their website. You can scroll down on their homepage and run it yourself. They've had, they have a couple of other use case demos there. It's very basic, but it will give you a good flavor for what the platform can do. Now, what it doesn't really show, which the platform can do, is like do custom responses and so forth. This one is pretty static. Uh, the training on it was pretty minimal, in, in my opinion. And um, so to keep your expectations. In, in check. It's just a good example of what sort of a basic functionality can do, but I think we, we could actually do a lot more with this given the right parameters and the right build. So here's the demo. Hello, I'm here to help you find your dream home. To better assist you, could you please share your name with me? Yeah, my name is Steve. Great to meet you, Steve. Are there any specific neighborhoods or locations you would like property listings for? Yeah, I'm looking to buy a home in Nashville, Tennessee. That's a great choice, Steve. Are you looking to purchase a home in Nashville, Tennessee, or are you considering renting? No, I'm going to buy. Got it, Steve. Do you have a preferred timeline for when you would like to purchase your new home in Nashville, Tennessee? Yeah, hopefully in the next six months, you know, sometime in the spring of next year. Great, Steve. It's good to have a timeline in mind. Could you share with me a general budget range you have in mind for purchasing your new home in Nashville, Tennessee? Yeah, I'm looking for uh, a home priced somewhere between five hundred and six hundred thousand dollars could you please describe your ideal home in terms of the number of bedrooms and bathrooms you're looking for probably three bedrooms now nah, four bedrooms and three and a half baths sounds like a spacious home steve do you have any must-have features in mind such as a garden patio or swimming pool yeah, I would like a patio that's large enough for grilling, a swimming pool, and if possible, uh, a long driveway with a decent amount of land. So it doesn't have to be close to Nashville city center. I'm, I'm okay being out in the suburbs or even further out in, in the countryside. 
Thank you for sharing your preferences, Steve. To summarize, you're looking for a three to four bedroom, 3.5 um, bathroom home with a large patio for grilling, the possibility of a swimming pool, a long driveway, and some land. You're open to locations outside of Nashville city center, including suburbs or the countryside. Is that correct? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Great, Steve. I'll get the process started and you can expect a call from one of our agents in the next few days. We're excited to help you find your new home. Have a wonderful day. So that's the demo. Pretty minimal training on that demo. So the scripting and so forth, the, the build on it was pretty bare bones. There wasn't a lot of interaction, but, um, but it, you can invest a lot more in it and get a lot more out of it. So the training is something that you do want to take uh, into consideration. You might ask yourself, well, I don't have any training material, but you'd probably be surprised at how much training material you do have um, and how much you can quickly create. Doing something like recording some customer calls and uh, transcribing those recordings provides great training material. Any sort of written information that you have uh, on, your, on your company, on your sales process, sales training and so forth, that's all information that you can use for, um, for, for training purposes. The other thing that you can use is industry information. So if you're an air conditioning company, there's probably a lot of information about air conditioning companies out on the internet. You can use that as training, uh, training data. So the training is actually something that, in terms of uh, the quantity of data, something that you can uh, find a great deal of quantity relatively easily to train these, um, these natural language processing platforms. So I wanted to mention the pricing. Pricing on this model, one of the one of the best elements I think of Sales Closer AI is its pricing model. There's actually a free model, gives you 60 minutes of usage per month. So if you're just using this for a small business for after hours or weekend uh, type of uh, sales related um, uh, conversations, 60 minutes may be sufficient for you. So you could actually use this entirely for free. If you run over 60 minutes, I'll charge you 70 cents a minute which seems like a lot of money, but for that you know, two or three minute interaction to potentially secure a lead for a valuable sale like for a real estate company or air conditioning company or anything like that, I think that's actually a really good um, uh, return on that investment of 70 cents per minute. The other thing is you can, you can um, get the transcription of these calls and if there's something that's urgent, you can have keywords uh, associated with the uh, urgent message that can call out to someone who might be you know, ready to respond in urgent situations. So that's also, uh, also available. There are pricing models that um, will bundle more minutes to get that of, uh, lower rate per minute on your usage profile as well, which is something I like about this. It's not just uh, a monthly subscription. You, you're going to pay the same no matter whether you're using it or not. You can actually determine how much you want to pay for it based upon how much you're going to use it, which I think is really convenient and a smart idea from Sales Closer. All right, so I think uh, in conclusion, this is the future of virtual selling. Uh, sales Closer can do discovery calls like this. They can do more involved sales calls. They can run virtual presentations in a web uh, conference situation. So going through a PowerPoint, for example, I think the technology is only gonna get stronger and stronger and the use cases will get broader and broader for what you can do with platforms like this. So the sooner you get involved, the sooner you start understanding its benefits, where it works, in your organization, and the sooner you can start um, benefiting from this overall technology innovation. So if you got some value out of this video, I'd appreciate a like, a thumbs up, and if you want to find your way back to this channel in the future, the best way of doing that is by hitting the subscribe button. That will help you uh, get back here anytime in the future. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.